Because in the US, a woman is raped every six seconds. Really? Every six seconds, you say? So, with 365.25 days in a year, that would be 8,766 hours in a year. Five, 525, 960 minutes in a year, 10 rapes a minute. That means 5,259,600 women are raped every year. Now, according to the FBI, on average, about 5% of all rapes end in murder. Now, last year, about 1,200 women were murdered, give or take. So, for your claim, to be correct, 262,980 women would need to be raped and murdered minimum every single year. Now, the average woman lives 78.74 years. So, in your lifetime, out of 169 million women in America, 414 million will be raped. So, every woman in America will be raped 2.4 times, and every man is going to have to rape 2.8 women. Oh, by the by, because of that pesky 5% of all rape victims are murdered, where are the piles of raped and murdered women scattered across the United States because it's kinda hard to hide a fucking apocalypse? Because according to feminists, <laughs> we live in a rape culture. That means that this has been going on for decades. That means if you add up the total population in the United States, put this one in every six bullshit thing or on reverse exponential curve, that means that if you only go back 78.74 years, the average life expectancy of a woman, that means that there should be about 20.7 million raped and murdered women lying about somewhere right now. And every man in America knows about this, but we all just keep quiet about it because, you know, patriarchy. You know there's only 14 dead people for every person alive today, right? Christ. By claiming one woman is raped every six seconds, you are claiming that the United States of America, we have, at minimum, raped and murdered... We have raped and murdered 3.45 times the number of Jews killed in Nazi Germany. So, uh, fuck you. No wonder feminists all hate men. You think we're all fucking monsters. You honestly believe that we are all rapists and that we are, we fucking have an entire industry devoted to raping, murdering, and somehow disposing of the bodies. So that's what those 93 million unemployed people are doing. They're not really unemployed in America. They've actually got jobs as part of our rape industry. They had it coming. 